Hello. Trying to find something Tuddy wants to eat tonight. Because it's pregnant. Oh, dear. <laughs> Looks like you got lots of little snacks going on. Yeah, well, this is my extras for anybody who chews anything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, fish. <laughs> I have fish, so it's not fat. But this is this is Tuts. So we've got pork and mush and red and turkey breast, and now I'm doing lamb. <laughs> Hello, Leslie and Susan and Brenda, Kathy, Kim, Donna. Hello, Lisa. So for the cats that are really fussy about their food, the keepers weigh their food before it goes out and then they weigh what they bring back so that we know for sure what they've eaten. Most of our cats, they use this chart right here. It's called for your M4 mushin. It's because they call our ground carnivore diet mush. And when they hand it out in the mornings, they might give a bobcat a baseball size. And then if the cat leaves a golf ball size, that way on the reports, we all know exactly how much went into the gauge and how much went out of the gauge, but it's not as technical as weighing it for the ones that are really poor doers. There's always a few in a population as old as ours. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be here Monday for the arrival? No. Oh, no. No, I have to work. I couldn't get off my bosses out of town, so. It makes me sad, but I'll get to spoil them on the weekend, so. <laughs> Everybody else will get their chance before I get here. <laughs> then they're all mine. <laughs> It's so exciting, huh? Getting a new baby is just, it's sad because that we have to get them, but to know how much love and good care they're going to get. Becky's going to start crying. <laughs> I know. I'm a big weenie. <laughs> All right. Putting more in tuts, even though I've just waited. Do you know how many cats are on your list tonight? Oh. Or maybe just call them out as you think of their names. <laughs> well, it's all of these. So Simba gets his allergy meds. Perfection just gets her Fortiflora. Make her poop better. Filmo, which I hear is very hard. Um, this is Orion's, because um, he's on his stomach meds again. And then this is to keep the other two heathens away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pharaoh's Lactulus, Sundari's Miralax, plus she is getting pain pills now. They're going to try her for a couple weeks. I have Nikki Lyon, who gets her pain pill, but also on Wednesdays and Sundays she gets Medicam pain medication. So drumsticks work perfect for that. And the reason so many of the cats are on pain medications is because they're so old. They've got arthritis and they got old stuff, old cat stuff going on. Desiree, De oh, actually Desi, not Desiree anymore. Diablo is on his high blood pressure meds. Who else do I have here? Serby. She just gets a little bit of anti-nausea stuff at night. She gets all her main stuff in the morning. Ginger. She's got just a few more days, and so does Filmo, just a few more days. I have a feeling he might go on ongoing, though. Yeah, with his back looking like it does. Yeah. My goodness, how does that cat even walk? But Justin's going to um, reevaluate him next week, I guess, and then Cricket. We get a whole bunch. I don't have a whole lot of time, so we'll probably only catch the first couple of them that she does. Because so I have to get out of here before dark, which means yeah. leaving in like 10 minutes. I'm, don't let me rush you. Get out in time, that's fine. You need like a big serving tray. Well, <laughs> I mean, for all this. <laughs> this is mostly just for Tut. 
So a lot of times people don't check it. And oh my, there was some bad stuff in there yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> If everything goes as planned, they will be arriving here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Okay. And Lawana, just let me know that for all of you who are thinking about becoming supporters at 99 cents a month on Facebook, which gets you all kinds of extra content, mostly stuff from the keepers when they're out there doing stuff with the cats, they give us extra clips of photos and videos for you guys. Um, Facebook has not been charging any kind of processing fees for that, and so all of the money has been going to the cats, but after January 1st, they're going to start taking 30%, and they said they're not going to charge it to the people who signed up before January 1st, so if you were thinking about doing it and you want all your money to go to the cats and not to Facebook, you might want to do it before the end of the year. Wendy, Medical Monday is not going to happen because we have so many people that are on the rescue already and won't be here. We don't have any cats that are in dire need of seeing the vet. There were some photos going back and forth between the vet team today with Hutch and his ankles looking a little swollen, but that's just, I'm sure, going to turn out to be his age and poor nutrition before he came here and not a whole lot they can do other than pain meds. Yeah, I'm not happy about the 30%, but on the other hand, they make it so easy and they handle all the transactions, which saves us having to handle it. Our credit card processing fees, of course, would be a whole lot less if people donated on our main site at bigcatrescue.org slash donate. But it's, um, there's no way to tie the two between people donating there and the extra content because there's no way of knowing who those people are. Whereas with the Facebook um, supporter badge, we know who they are and who it creates like a group that we can send a special video out to. Liz, we have a, we went out and bought a new transport van and it's just big enough for the three cages. And even as late as today, they were still sending dimensions back and forth between Guatemala and Jamie to make sure that the dollies that Victor built, because their cages don't have any wheels, and trying to carry a 400-pound cat in a crate that probably weighs 1,500 pounds <laughs> is a nightmare. So we uh, had Victor build these rolling dollies that each one of the crates can be set onto and rolled up into our, our transport trailer. And then it's pulled by our rescue van. Both of those are pretty new. Oh my goodness, is that live in the kitten cabana? It is. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, you woke you it up. <laughs> Don't touch his ears, Linda. <laughs> those are the O's. Olivia and Oliver. And I don't know which one is, but. Yeah, he, he has to look at it and see which one, because it could be Tater, or it could be Tot, or it could be Tiny. <laughs> That's the key ones. Oh. Somebody said there weren't any kittens in the cabana. Looks like there's a lot in the cabana. They must have been hiding. Two groups. Okay, let's <laughs> Clearly the O's and the T's. <laughs> well, and Melody was saying that hers are too small to go to the cabana yet. Oh. Okay. Here's my carousel. <laughs> okay, sticks. When I used to sell Amway door to door, I carried it in a thing that looked just like that. With the Elmo, is he going to need a long stick? Yeah. I saw somebody did operant with him today. I yeah, think Michael. Michael does. Michael does. Nice. So. Yeah, trying to get him to be more. You know, I really haven't even gotten a, a really good look at him yet. But that Shiloh. Oh, ho, ho. He is something else. He purrs and he chirps at you. And, oh, and he's oh. gigantic. <laughs> and he's gigantic, yeah.
I do not know what time 1 p.m. Eastern time would be in Italy if somebody has one of those access to, like, is it Google Clocks? going in. It's cooler weather. The cats are much more visible, much more active. Oh, King Dot knows what's coming. You know what's coming. Oh, yeah. Feed me, feed me, feed me. Cold weather make you hungry? Yes. <laughs> Who else is that? Is that Flint calling? I'm coming, baby. Hang on. I'm going to get the girls in there. Oh, Simba, that's who. It's going to be confusing. We'll have a Max Bobcat and a Max Tiger, and a Simba Savannah Cat and a Simba Tiger. Yeah, I'm sure all your cats at home do this every morning. I'm starving. I'm coming, babe. I'm glad to see him so eager for it. Yep. Hey, this cold weather, he's really Mr. Hungry. Duck, go away. Hello, baby. Oh, baby, I didn't bring my stick. So I improvise, right? Hang on now, we gotta get it far enough back so the duckies don't get it, right? No duckies. I know, I know, it's okay. There you go. There you go. No duckies eating teddy food. What's he eating first? Whatever that light colored meat was. Of course, pork. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bear. Hello. You already got yours. Touch in. Touch in. Where you at? There she comes. Sneaking up on me. Soaking up that last sun ray. I don't know how she can chew these, but she loves them. <laughs> you need to go away. You need to not be behind the barricade. Huh? I'm going to have to go after this, so thank you. Mm -hmm. And everybody, I'm going to have to wrap up so that I can beat the sun home. But I'll let you finish watching Perfection since she's going to show us how she manages to eat those necks with your old toothless mouth you must have some teeth left in there Yeah, her markings really are beautiful. Penny, those tigers do not live together currently. Jan and Tim said that um, Max is the more secure of the tigers. And Kimba, the youngest one, is very, very shy, but gets along fine being housed next to Simba. So the way they've had them there in Guatemala is Max... Kimba and then Simba in separate cages. So I don't know who we're going to put out in vacation rotation, but because um, eventually they'll all get a, ch a chance out there. And I think any of them would probably do fine in that space. I know, because there's nothing to be afraid of out there, is there? Nope. Nothing bad about having lots of space. 
All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Sorry, there weren't a whole lot of cats. But I am, I am uh, regulated by the sun this time of the year. Go find that last bit of sunshine. Go soak it all up. Good night.